Scipio, man. Wiz Khalifa, man. He back with another album on 420, man. Despite all this corona, all this COVID, man, he back with another project. It's pretty dope, man. A nice seven piece, man. I know it's still early, but it's kind of like a 420 celebration, smoke out celebration, because, you know, man, it's Wiz, man. It's, it's TGOD, man. It's Taylor game, man. If you if you a Wiz fan, you already know what time it is, man. Wiz come out with an album on 420. Come on, man. This is this is this is great timing, man. Despite everything that's going on, but like I said, man, it's a nice little seven piece, man. He got a lot of features on here, man. I don't even really want to call it an album. I want to call it like an EP, but he he is a real feature heavy, man. From he got Meg uh, Megan the Stallion, Ty Dolla Sign. Logic, K Cam, Quavo, he almost got a feature on every song. It's real feature heavy, but I'm still rocking with the project because you know it's a, it's a 420, 420 you know album. Even though you know he kind of don't mention it that much, but it's still hard throughout the project, man, for a Wiz album to come out on this day, man. Despite everything that's going on, so if you got any weed or whatever, man, spark up, go cop this album, man, and burn one to it, man. You're gonna enjoy yourself. It's a nice seven seven piece. For real. But just breaking it down and stuff from the album cover and all that. The album cover is cold. He got, like, his face, like, in the church glass. Like, the colorful church glass. Like, it's cold, man. It's one of the best album covers I've seen this year. And it's definitely one of Wiz Khalifa's better, better album covers. It's definitely hard. And, uh, shit, man. Just let's, let's get right into it, man. The Why You Mad featuring uh, Megan Thee Stallion and um, Ty Dolla Sign, man. To me, it's a decent song. Uh... Wiz, you know, he 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 did his thing on that. Just a, it's like a decent intro track. It's kind of smooth, you know. Ty singing, doing a lot of auto tune singing on that. And, you know, Meg to me, Meg, uh, Megan Thee Stallion had the best verse on this song, but just out the gate. Wiz wasn't trying to go hard or nothing though. He was just on like on the relaxed floor or whatever. And, you know, so she she kind of she did her thing on that. Overall, it's a decent song. Definitely not one of my favorites though. But it's still, you know, Wiz. You know, he never really made a whack song though. To be be honest, you know. Neither is Megan Thee Stallion, though, and um, I can't say the same for Ty Dolla Sign, but he, he decent, though. Wiz has groomed him well, but uh, shit, Out of Space, that's number two featuring Quavo. That's a decent track, too, man. I love the beat on that. Quavo, he did his thing. I fuck with Quavo, man. He can, he can rap to me. A lot of y'all, you know, say he, he, he trash and stuff, man. I think I think he the best one in the Migos. I think he better than Offset. Well, a lot of y'all might disagree, but I'm rocking with that. Number three, Still Wiz. This is one of my favorite tracks on the album. Just, it's just classic Wiz, man. Got a little, like, sample to it and stuff like that. It's just, it's just classic, too. It's just classic Wiz, man. You can do this with any beat and just smoke vibes to it, man. It's it's it's, it's just hard, bro. Like, this, 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 this is just classic Wiz right here. The beat, the melody, just the, just the flow, all of that. And then number four, Bammer, featuring Mustard or whatever, man. That, that's to me, that's a decent track. It's like a, it's, I like the beat on it. I ain't gonna lie. It's still early and stuff. All these, all these tracks on here is definitely smoking tracks, though. You can definitely roll one up to these tracks. That's a fact. You can definitely smoke one. You can drink to all of this. Wiz Khalifa definitely know got, got that music that you can relax and vibe to. That's a, that's a fact right there. And um. Shit, then uh, we got contact with Tiger. I'm not a big Tiger fan at all. I personally felt like this song would have been better without Tiger, but it is what it is. It's still a decent song. Wiz did all right on there, you know. It's not one of my favorite songs on the track, that's for sure. And then he got cake. He got clouds in the um, air with K Camp. Same thing, man. I think this would have been a better song without K Camp. I think contact would have been that better without Tiger. And Clouds in the Air would have been better without K Camp. High Today was actually decent. I'm not a big Logic fan either, but I think this is one of the best features on the album. Logic, he did pretty decent on it. I don't know who was, I don't know if he was singing or not on here, but he was definitely had a little, a decent part, some real life stuff. Logic actually is a, a, um, a good, a great, a very good rapper to me. He definitely better than Tiger and, um, and um, K Camp, in my opinion, but you know, y'all might feel another way, but to me, they um they blended in well on this song together. You know, it's only one song. I mean, but to me, I felt like Wiz could at least drop ten songs for this project. That's that's what I'm kind of disappointed about. The only seven songs. I think he could have gave us at least three or four more songs by his um by itself. 
I thought that I thought that would be pretty dope if he would have did that. Or if, I, I felt like Wiz could have dropped a twenty piece, man, because it's four twenty. But I already know Wiz wasn't about to do that. But other than that, man, the 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 album it, it still got to sink in. You know, it's still early. It's only seven songs. I'm not gonna say it's um better than anything that came out this year yet, because it's still super early. So far, I can tell you this from what I heard. And, you know, if you, you rock with me, you already know. It's definitely better than the Jadakiss album that came out this year. That's a fact. I can tell you that. And to keep 100, I'm, I'm, I'm not, it's still early. It might be better than that Joel Santana album, too. It's hard to say about any of the Currency albums or the um, J Electronica, the J Electronica album that came out. Even the Slim Thug joint, the Jeezy joint and all that. They, to me, they was all real good, solid projects. Again, a few more albums that came out this year, but... This is still early to really put it up or compare it to anything, but I can definitely tell you it's better than the Jada Kiss Ignatius, man. Beat wise and all that, man. He got something on here for everything, and um, I, I wouldn't, I didn't, I wouldn't care if he dropped it on 420 or not. I'm not, I'm not big on artists dropping stuff and preserving it for holidays and stuff, cause. I feel like they put too much in it, and then they don't come out with another project for years after that. I don't, who knows when Wiz gonna come out with another project after this, but. I felt like he definitely could have gave us more songs, but other than that, man, I'm not gonna say it's better than any of his better than any of his on previous projects, like the Cushion of um, Orange Juices and the and the Cabin Fevers and the um, Taylor Alter Dices and all that. I don't even know if I can say it's better than that. It's still super early. It's just like a 420 celebration right here, man, because it's Wiz. Who smokes more weed than Wiz right now? Not really nobody. I'm talking about that pure. All oh, that Wiz, man, Wiz is one of the top ones in charge of that, man. Him. Spitter, you already know Snoop, and it's a bunch of others, but, you know, Wiz are definitely an advocate weed smoking and stuff, man, so for him to drop this project on 420, man, it's hard, man, and the, the album called, album cover Fire, I just wish you would have did a little bit more and had a little bit less features, or well, I would have been cool with the features if he had at least five more songs or something like that, but other than that, man, this seven piece is definitely a nice seven piece, cop this album, man, because it's definitely as good, man. I usually turn it off though when they get the Tiger part. I'm not a huge Tiger fan at all, but y'all might y'all might feel different though. But Logic and uh, Megan Thee Stallion definitely had to me, and I put Quavo on that too. They definitely had the best features on this um, on this album for sure. Megan Thee Stallion, um, Quavo, and um, Logic. They definitely they all did they think on this album. I can't say the same for the other ones though. To me, Wiz don't blend, blend well with Tiger and um, K Camp. Not really mustered too well either, you know. It's I, I don't know, but he definitely I, I like I don't like to hear more songs with him and um, Megan and um, at uh you know Ty Dolla Sign. That's his man. They got all kind of shit together. But him, Quavo, and even him and Logic, man, they sound like they just a better blend together, man. But rock with that album, man. Four twenty shit. Smoke one. Go cop this album. Don't listen to it free, man. Cop the album, man. It ain't nothing but like seven to eight dollars, man. Cop this album. Get you something to roll up and spark one and burn one, man. Happy 420, man. Facts.